Her Last Breath is the second of three Ruby Herring Mysteries films, and I'm starting to realise why there are only three of them. This was released in 2020, and unfortunately I didn't like this for two reasons. One, the narrative is really boring. Two, our protagonists are very, very, very badly written characters. And I will give examples of why that is, because it's not fair for me to say they're bad characters without actually giving any details. But very briefly, there won't be any spoilers. And then I'll give a spoiler warning and go into a little bit more detail. So this one involves the death of uh, a woman who Ruby is meant to be meeting. And she happens to have uh, an accident in her car. And it's ruled out pretty quickly that this was actually an accident. And it turns out that somebody was trying to kill her. Who was trying to kill her? Well, I don't really care. I found the narrative to be very badly written, very slow, no suspense at all, very few suspects, and the suspects that we did have were very dull, and we didn't get to spend that much time with any of them, so we never really got the chance to build up any real kind of relationship with them or opinion about them, so it was just very mundane, nothing happened, and I could not care less about what happened, because there was nothing exciting. It was not gripping, it was not compelling, it was a very dull story. And then we have the characters. And very briefly before I give spoilers, I will just say that Ruby is a tremendous liability. This is something I kind of suspected with the first film, but it was too early for me to come to that conclusion. Whereas now I can confirm that she is a terrible sleuth. She is literally doing everything she can unintentionally to jeopardize the case. And I'll give examples in a moment. And Jake is one of the most unprofessional cops in any Hallmark mystery. He's not a well-written character, and that makes him very unlikable. And unfortunately, when they're together, they're even more excruciatingly painful. And I've come to the conclusion that Hallmark Mysteries, they always have a romantic aspect to them. It's never in the foreground, but the classic female amateur sleuth always has a romantic aspect somewhere or with garage sale mysteries we have of course uh jennifer is, is married and that occasionally comes up as part of the story but when we have a single sleuth and a male love interest it doesn't work if they're the detective because it means the detective generally acts really unprofessionally and this is exactly what we have here. Jake is... Jake himself is not an unlikable character. I don't find his personality annoying, but I find his behaviour very unprofessional. Ruby, I do not like. I, I kind of actively dislike her as a character. And it's nothing against the performances. I think they've done a good enough job with the material. But Ruby is just the most irritating character ever. I will watch the third film, just because I might as well. But had it been a more extensive series, I might not have made it through. So I'm kind of glad it's only three. Unfortunately, the narrative in Her Last Breath is very boring. It's very slow. There is no suspense. There are very few suspects. And the suspects that we do have are very boring. And then we have our protagonists, both of whom are... Not enjoyable characters to be watching. So I will, with a spoiler warning now, go into a little bit more detail. I'm still not going to spoil who was responsible for the murder or anything, but I just want to give a couple of examples of problems I have with Ruby to make it a little bit more fair for me to be criticising the character. So I'll, I'll just say spoilers from now. And as I said, she is a huge liability. There are things that Jake tells her not to do and then she does it anyway. She has no regard for authority. She thinks she knows best. Now, this is not necessarily unique to Ruby. It is a characteristic we see in most of Hallmark's amateur sleuths. But if that's their only negative quality, then it's not so bad. But this is just one of many problems with this character. She keeps talking to potential suspects, just people who we may not have considered as being suspect yet, but they're people who, in theory, are connected to the victim. Well, they are connected to the victim. So in theory, could have had something to do with it. And she just keeps sharing information about the case and this could be a huge problem because let's say for example she talks to somebody who she doesn't suspect is the culprit but it turns out it is and she's given them information that indicates the angle the police are looking at that puts that suspect or culprit at an advantage and they can manipulate the situation a little bit more she is an absolute amateur fool it is kind of like she has an interest in the macabre but she knows nothing about criminal investigation. And that's unusual, 
because most of the Hallmark Amateur Sleuths are actually very knowledgeable. And Ruby just seems to know nothing about how investigations work. And she's a reporter. She's not a crime reporter, but you'd think she'd still have picked up a thing or two working in that industry. And she just doesn't know anything. It's also very repetitive. And this is partly because she doesn't know anything and can't do much. The only thing she seems to be good at is going into people's houses and distracting them or going into a, another room, such as a bathroom, and either stealing something or taking a photograph of something. That is literally all she is good for. And that's not me saying that. This is all we've seen. This is literally all she's done for two films is go into potential suspects' houses and take evidence. And furthering that, to reinforce the fact that she's not very bright, there was one point in this film, so this is a spoiler for something that happens, where she finds out that there was a safe in the victim's house and that the police didn't take away the safe, presumably because they didn't know about it. And the first thing she does is put her grubby fingers all over it. But why? Let's say the culprit knew about the safe. They would have tried to access that safe and their prints could all be over it. So why would you then go and put your fingerprints all over it? Is it because she thinks she knows better than the detectives? Because she thinks that she can get into it and find out what's in there and that will automatically tell her who the culprit is? She's not bright. She's very full of herself. And she just compromises everything. So not a great character. Really, in a way, looking forward to the third one to say I've finished it. I will go into the third one with an open mind because maybe it will be a good narrative. If the narrative is good, I can overlook... Ruby being a terribly, terribly written character. But if the narrative's bad, it's going to be painful. So we'll see. I'll find out when I get there. But for now, Her Last Breath is not a good story. And Ruby Herring is not a good character. <laughs>